Hello everybody, my name is Slowpace, I'm back to video, and today guys, I am going to show you how to get an animated wallpaper like this one in the background. So if you all enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, I'd really appreciate that. Before I get into too much, guys, I really want to say as well that if you could please check out my website, link in the description. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on there, like you get some free channel art for your channel, there's ways to make money, and there's also some other ways of doing stuff on there, so please go and check it out, link in the description to my website and I also want to say as well guys that I will have like a top five recording software video coming out Friday next week so yeah make sure you stick around to check that one out and I really appreciate the sub on this channel as well because I put a lot of effort into these videos and yeah a lot of people that watch my videos are non-subscribers so yeah I really appreciate that if you would hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me but anyway, it's not doing any more talking straight into the video. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to get an animated wallpaper like this one. Now, there will be some links in the description um, to actually buy the software. Yes, the software does cost money, but it's one of the best softwares you can get uh, for animated wall background pictures like this one. And you also will need Steam as well. Now, yeah, just click one of those links in the description. There should be a Europe one, uh, North America, and a global one. So yeah, make sure you check those out. So yeah, once you buy the software, go on to Steam and redeem it, all that type of cool stuff. All you've got to do is load it up. So as you can see, this is the software right here. It's actually, I think it's called Wallpapers Engine, something like that. I can't remember the exact name, so I can't see it anywhere. I just see wallpapers up here. So anyway, as you see, I've got a bunch of wallpapers in here I can change from. Now, you're not going to have this many in here when you first load it up. You might have five in here, I think, some default ones like this one here, this one, maybe like this one here as well, and a few others. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like when you first load it up. And yeah, once you load it up, I think it's actually going to tell you this screen first. So you've got to choose what monitor you want it on. So yeah, once you load it up, it's to say what monitor. So if you have three monitors, you will have another one here uh, saying one, two, and three. So yeah, you will have three monitors showing up in here. But if you've only got one, as you see, I've got two monitors. So you just select which monitor you want it on. Basically, pretty simple. Just select it and then, yeah, change wallpaper. As you see, this one here is my wallpaper for this one at the back here. So yeah, click change. And yeah, once I click on that, all I've got to do is click on workshop. Now on here you will see a bunch of stuff that people have made. As you can see, there's loads on here. Literally, it goes on forever, look, as you can see right here. But yeah, all you got to do is click on filters up here. And then from here, you can choose games. You can choose all type of stuff in here, cartoons, animals, everything. So yeah, and also, if you want to make it video, like this one in the background right here, all you got to do is click on type up here, then click on video. And yeah, make sure you click on what category you want right here. So there's a bunch in here, as you can see. As you see, I've just got mine on games. Then what you got to do from here is just search through here and see which one you like. Pretty simple, really. And also, you can click on top rated, most popular of the year, month, week, today, most recent, upvoted, all this stuff in here you can choose from here. Now, as an example, if you see one you like, so I've come down here and it's, right, let's go back up here. Let's click on this Rainbow Six Siege one here. And you see here it is, right up in this corner here, it gives you like a little preview. You can click this little play button, usually it takes you to YouTube and you can watch the video see what it's like. But yeah, if you want to have it for your background, all you got to do is click subscribe here. And then it should start downloading, just like this. And now once it's downloaded, it should just do that. As you can see, as you can see it's in the background right there. It looks pretty cool actually. So yeah, that is it in the background right there. And if you want to um, swap it out or unstore it, all you got to do is select it like this one. And then click unstore right there or uns unsubscribe right there. So yeah, that's all you've got to do if you want to get rid of it. Pretty simple. And if you want to get rid of loads, I think you just select all these here. So you can unsubscribe from all of them. Pretty simple. So yeah, I see I'm going to go back to my default one. As you can see right there, just change it back over. And yeah, a few other things as well, guys. If you have a computer that is not the best at running like games or any softwares, now you might want to copy some of these settings I have here. Click on this little gear icon up in the corner here. Now as you see, these are my settings. I have a... GTX 1060 and also 16 gigabyte RAM and a processor is i5-4460 I think it is so yeah that is my uh, specs for my computer now if you have the same type of specs or better just copy all these settings right here pretty simple really just copy all the settings and also just copy some of these these you might not have to copy these two should be um pretty simple really in here now make sure you do have it start with Windows as when you load up your computer, this might not be loading up in the background if you don't have it set as that. So, yeah, this is basically the specs you want to do. But if you have a low end, you might want to change some of these specs down. Like the FPS you want to put down, maybe down to 10 maybe. And maybe put low on 
stuff like that to make it run better on your computer. But 15 is about right, really. It's all you need is about 15 uh, FPS. And I can go for high, and I don't want 20 FPS. Let's go down, back down to 15 if I can. Okay, 16 to do for me. So, anyway, just click OK when you're finished with that. And yeah, it should basically be pretty simple. Everything looks all right. Now, obviously, if you have a really good PC, like a beast of PC, you should be able to go in high graphics and, you know, maybe up to 30 FPS. But I wouldn't recommend it. As you can see, it can slow down your PC. And also, if you have this running and you're playing games, I would recommend pause this. So the, basic, the easiest way to do that is click on right click on your little desktop icon in the corner. You guys can't see it, but down here, there's the icon for it. Right click and you can click pause. And then you will pause this wallpaper because you don't want this running and having your game running as it would probably, you know, you wouldn't get good FPS in your game. So yeah, I recommend pausing this. It's really just for looks on your computer, really cool looks. So anyway, that is how you get animated wallpaper. I know a few of you have asked in my comments before how have I got this type of cool stuff so yeah that is how you get this cool animated wall background if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel I really appreciate that I'll see you guys all next time peace out